Hello friends, Scott from Flat River Keto. I uh, just wanted to do a quick check-in today. First wanted to let you guys know that I am doing pretty well. I know that I, the last time that I checked in with you had been the first time in a little while. I had definitely been struggling through the end of tax season. Wanted to let you know that things are going pretty good for me. Actually have a workout streak again, woohoo. Um, I'm back to the basics with keto, which has been good. I've definitely greatly reduced my snacking, have gotten rid of the questionable keto foods or just flat out non-keto foods that I had been enjoying. So I'm doing pretty well. Planning on checking with you, in with you on Saturday and hopefully by then, uh, maybe this Saturday might be next Saturday, but I'll have some new goals uh, moving forward on my health journey. Uh, today I wanted to just jump on here real quick though and tell you guys about a new flavor from Keto Chow. As you guys know, I have a partnership with Keto Chow. I'm a huge fan of Keto Chow. Uh, also, have the uh, joy of knowing Chris and Miriam Bear, who are the uh, founders of Keto Chow personally. They're fantastic people. Had the opportunity to get to know them a little bit better. Over the holiday break this past year, as we got stuck in Utah for a couple of extra days. Thank you, uh, weather in Wyoming. Um, but anyway, Keto Chow has come out with a new flavor. Uh, the new flavor is Chai Latte. And they sent me a couple of uh, servings of this, gave me the opportunity to try it. And as I know that Chris and Miriam would want me to do, I'm going to be completely honest with you about my opinion of chai latte. And I will tell you right off, it was not for me. Now, I think that chai latte is a great flavor. I would imagine that it, that it correctly captures what a chai latte is. What I have discovered is that a chai latte is not, chai latte is not something that I would enjoy. Uh, the flavors do not work for me at all. It's probably the first flavor of Keto Chow that I was not able to finish. I actually had a few sips of it. I gave my wife a few sips of it. She tried it. I tried it. We just didn't care for it. It wasn't our favorite. And so, yeah, that's definitely going to be a no for me. Uh, the reason that I wanted to share that with you guys is I was listening today to uh, the two crazy Ketos, Joe and Rachel, who actually come, came up with this flavor, created this flavor. And I'm sure lots of you are going to love it. I, I really want to preface everything that I say about it with saying I'm sure there, there are tons of you out there who are going to think this is the best flavor ever. I will tell you, though, that it just didn't work for me. And I did write down a couple of things that they said because I just want to mention them. Not to contradict them. Be very clear on this. Not to contradict them because everybody's palate is different. And they love it. And they created it. And they like it. And Chris and Miriam like it. And lots of you are probably going to like it too. But a couple things they said. They said, if you like gingerbread or if you like pumpkin pie spice, you're going to like this. Guess what, guys? Gingerbread is my favorite flavor. And pumpkin spice is probably a close second for me. And this this just doesn't work for me. It, it, it is not... It's definitely its own flavor, and if you like things that are chai latte flavored, I would say give it a try for sure. You're probably going to love it. But I will say that I love gingerbread, and I don't love this. It is not my thing. It is not for me. If you have any question, though, what I would probably do is, with your next order that you place, or, you know, place a small order if you want to, but your next big order so that you can save on, uh, get free shipping by ordering over $100 worth of Keto Chow products, order uh, a single serving or a couple of single servings of the chai latte and see if you like it. You may think it's fantastic. Just because I didn't like it and the, the flavors don't work for me doesn't mean that you won't love it. That's one of the great things about food in general is that all of our palates are individual and me saying that I don't like it I'm not arguing with Joe or Rachel because they love it that's great I don't love it that's fine too and it doesn't mean that I'm right and they're wrong or that they're right and I'm wrong it just means that to me it doesn't taste great and to them it tastes fantastic so that's my review of chai latte I'm sure some of you will absolutely love it and find it to be your favorite flavor uh, but I will say it's one that I will not be purchasing moving forward. It was not my favorite flavor. Um, one other thing that I did want to let you know, though, with with uh, as it relates to Keto Chow, is that Keto Chow is having their Mother's Day sale. Uh, everything on their site is 10% off for Mother's Day. So go and shop and you get an opportunity to save a little bit. Uh, if you use my link, you can let them know. I, I'll have my link in the description of this video. That will let them know that... Uh, I am supporting them and uh, that, that you found them through me. That's, that's helpful for me. Um, you don't get to double up. Normally, uh, when you use my link, you get to save 10% on your order. Uh, they don't double up coupons, so you'll use the Mother's Day uh, coupon probably. But if you use my link to place your order, that will let them know that uh, some of you are seeing my video. 
dozens and dozens of you are seeing my video. So just wanted to share that with you guys. That's really it for today. Just wanted to do a really quick update, let you know that I'm doing well, planning on checking with in, in with you on Saturday, and obviously wanted to share with you about the Keto Chow products and the Keto Chow Mother's Day sale. So keep Palma Keto on, guys. We'll talk to you soon.